gonna have a tuner. Uh, what is it? No, I'm asking. I think it's. Yeah, it's simple. It's the same. Simple. have always been such a big part of my life and such a centerpiece to my free time whenever I had it and I think on this show they were sometimes you know the thing that would keep you sane at the end of the day. The one thing that was my thing from the beginning was how great it would be to have guitars that were inspired by the show. One day we happened to be talking to Andy Mooney, CEO of Fender, and I I was almost afraid to mention it because I didn't want him to say no, but I said, well, what do you think, what would you think about doing Game of Thrones guitar? So initially, the discussion with Fender was whether to do something more mass produced or whether to do something more custom and be more of a, of a one of a kind. Item. Once we hit on the idea of doing three guitars, one for each of the major houses in the show, Stark, Lannister, and Targaryen, then we realized that it had to be something that was, that was special. And uh, the guys at the custom shop, Ron, Thorne especially, really swung for the fences and made something truly unique. I'm Ron Thorne, a principal master builder at the Fender Custom Shop. When I came into the meeting, there was already some renderings, maybe five or six of each house, and they all looked from fabulous. There was some changes along the way, but for the most part, they've stayed fairly true to the initial renderings, just tweaking it in a way that can be achieved, done, built here in the shop. The Telecaster is the instrument that the good guy plays. It's the instrument the sheriff plays. And the Starks really seem to embody that. They have that integrity. They have that no-nonsense approach that seems perfect uh, for a Telecaster. The House Stark Telecaster has a maple neck with an ebony fretboard. They all do. Uh, they all feature a first fret sigil inlay. And these, we're calling them the Game of Thrones O in coral. That is shared on all three instruments. A two-piece swamp ash body has sterling silver purfling on the front and back with a weathered inside, the sterling. Control plate and the pick guard with the embossed dire wolf are out of nickel silver. A raw steel tele bridge plate. Sterling silver dire wolf first fret inlay. Hand engraved volume and tone knobs and a hand engraved neck plate and all slotted head screws throughout. 
and these are the hand-wound Josefina Blackguard 5051 pickups. It feels like if people in Winterfell made guitars, they would look like a Stark Telecaster. This is the House Lannister Jaguar. Features a two-piece alder body with 24 karat gold leaf top and back, gold plated control plates and pick guard with the lion engraved on the pick guard also. Features the same gold leafing on the headstock, brass first fret hand cut and hand engraved inlay and brass position markers. The pickups are Josefina hand wound Fat 50 Stratocaster pickups under these nice lipstick covers to match the rest of it. Uh, this is actually a middle position in the neck and a bridge in the bridge, of course. A hand engraved control knobs with the lion and also the neck plate is a hand engraved neck plate along with slotted head screws used throughout. The Lannister Jaguar has a fancier feel. I remember as a kid, the Jaguar was the, was the fender that had the most ornamentation and embellishment on it. And I feel like the Lannisters are a very gold-plated house. When it was sort of a larger Celtic design, I figured, oh, I'll just hand carve that. But then as it got more intricate and a lot of filigree and Sheridan, it was very intense by the time it was finalized, we opted to laser etch it through the gold leaf and that was a first we did some test pieces and it came out great so once it lasered through the gold leafing into the wood we then backfilled it with red dakota red paint it looks extremely rich and opulent this is the house targaryen stratocaster features an alder body with dragon scale carvings front and back this is a hand tooled leather pick guard with the Targaryen three-headed dragon, sterling silver dragon first fret. The pickups are Josefina handwound Texas specials, all black hardware with a vintage trim. If you're gonna have a, a dragon guitar, I think you're gonna need to have a tremolo. You're gonna need to be able to swoop and whoosh and dive bomb and make sound effects, some, some special effects. A traditional Stratocaster body, approximately 20 minutes front and back. That's the runtime on the CNC. The Targaryen Strat, 19 hours approximately for just the scale work. 11 hours to machine the scales on the back and eight hours to machine the scales on the top. The most difficult instrument I've ever worked on. Just countless hours of redo and reworking and dialing in those scales just to get them to look as realistic as possible. It's difficult. There's a few more things I could do, but I think it's enough now where it's not overkill. It's still a guitar, and there's still some elements that are pure Fender guitar. The tuners, we didn't mess with the tuners at all. We could have put dragon heads on each button or you know what have you, and it's like, oh, is that too much? I think that's too much. So it's just finding the line of art and still a guitar. Walking into Ron's shop, seeing him working on that guitar, it really was almost like a flashback to walking into our costume department and seeing Giampaolo, the armor maker, working on, on a helmet or a piece of armor and just the level of fine-grained detail that he put into it. It was very reminiscent of that. Studying the armor and the clothing, the costumes on the show, that was very important to try to get remotely close to the amount of detail. It's amazing. So trying to get the guitars to look like they would fit on set, it was inspirational.